why would anyone in their right mind want to go all the way around Africa instead of just taking a shortcut via the Suez Canal? This was one of the questions asked to me after I posted my recent Suez Canal transit video. Some others also wanted to know if the ships had to pay up any money to cross the canal, as in if it was free or were there any charges involved and so on. Hi guys, this is Rahul from Roborel and in today's video, we'll answer that question. Let's go. After completing our port calls in southern Europe, we are now sailing towards Egypt from where we'll transit the Suez Canal. The canal was opened in the year 1869, thus drastically reducing the distance between the Europe and the countries to the east of it. Approximately speaking, the canal has cut the travel time between Europe and Asia from 22 days to well under 22 hours. Prior to this, the ships had to go all the way around Africa to cover the distance. Taking the canal route saves the ships not just time, but also a lot of money in terms of the fuel costs. But not all these savings are for free. The ships transiting the canal are supposed to pay a fee, in fact a heavy fee. Just in the year 2020, around 19,000 ships crossed the Suez Canal and generated a total revenue of over 5.9 billion US dollars. The fee that has to be paid is not a flat fee. It depends on the type of ship, it depends on the gross tonnage, the net tonnage, the Suez net tonnage and many other factors. All the calculations are done by the Suez Canal Authority, the SCA, in advance. Since I sail on a container ship, I also know for a fact that it also depends on the number of containers that the ship is carrying and also whether the containers are empty, whether they're full, whether we are on ballast, whether we are laden with cargo and so on. Anyway, so to find out how much the ships have to pay up, go to this website. I'll put a link in the description and enter the relevant details. I'm going to fill out the details and the information specific to the ship which I am sailing on. Once that's done, just click on Calculate. You'll see the invoice with a grand total amount. Ours is a bit north of $300,000. That's just for one crossing. But there's also a 65% discount running these days. The reason for this is the slowdown in the global economies due to the pandemic. As the global markets are struggling and trying to limp back to normal, Many of the ship owners around the world are, uh, for the ships which are trading between Europe and Asia, these ship owners, they're contemplating alternative routes. You know, the one which is uh, around Africa. Right now, there's not much cargo, there's low demand, and also there's no need for ships to go like really full speed between these two continents. So for the ship owner, it makes sense right now to just keep the ship running at slow speed and going, taking more time but going around Africa instead of you know, paying a lot of money and crossing the Suez Canal. That's why the Suez Canal wants to give this discount so that they can keep these ship owners interested and even attract new ship owners who would like, I mean, who would want their ships to transit the Suez Canal. Just like everyone, Suez Canal Authority is also trying to invite more business so that they can keep it running during these times. So now we know, or at least we have an idea regarding how much a ship would have to pay up if they want to use the Suez Canal for a transit. Let me know what you thought about this video. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. Doing that also improves the video ranking. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And as always, Thanks for watching, keep exploring. This is Rahul from Roborel and I'll see you in the next one.